Alrighty, now to the fun stuff. We're actually going to build your funnel within system.io. So what you want to do is go to the top bar and click on funnels. And that's going to pull you to this page right here. Yours is most likely going to be empty if you've never used system.io before. And if you ever need to delete a funnel, I can show you how to do that by just clicking this and coming to delete. You can't just deactivate anymore. You're actually going to have to delete that funnel itself. So we're going to come up to create in the upper right hand corner. We're going to, this is going to look just like this. So it's just going to have a basic domain that we're going to change and customize later. And then we're going to name your funnel. Then we're going to choose our funnel goal. You can either build an audience, sell something, sell a product or service, build an evergreen webinar or custom. I always like to do custom. And then it's very important that it says us dollar here. Even if you are, especially if you're selling the roadmap and you are selling um, in a different country in a different currency, you want to make sure it's in US dollar because your currency is going to be set in PayPal and in Stripe, our payment processors, and they're automatically going to convert the currency for you. So even if you sell it in USD, which is the 497 minimum price point, that allows you to sell to customers based in the US, but also anytime you sell it to someone overseas and you are receiving funds overseas, you are going to have the money automatically convert for you. So don't worry about the conversion rates because PayPal and Stripe take care of it for you. So then we'll click save. And then you'll see your funnel pop up right over here. So we're going to click that. And we're going to start jumping right in and editing what we call our squeeze page. So the very first thing you want to do is come over here to add a step in the bottom left hand corner and click add step. Then we're going to name this squeeze page. And we're going to type squeeze page right here and click save. Now we have all of these templates that we can choose from. There are pages and pages full of templates that you guys can choose from. So let's see which ones we like. And don't worry because you can change all of these. So let's say we want to do, let me see, let me see this one right here. We'll select it. And if you ever want to change the template that you use, you can simply come over here and click change template, confirm, and then it will pop right back up for you. Just know that you will lose your edits if you change your template after actually editing the template itself. So let me see if I can find that one again. We'll use this one. Alrighty. So now that we have our squeeze page put in, this is the first page in our funnel. This is the page that we actually collect email addresses from potential customers. So this way, when we have it set up this way, we are now building an email list that we can then send emails to automatically in the email marketing portion of the training. I'll show you how to set that up. But now we can actually follow up with them if they don't purchase the first time they see our funnel. So we'll go to the right hand side of the screen and click edit page. And now we'll see this beautiful email capture page. Starting at the top, we want to put in a logo to really start branding our entire funnel. So what you want to do is click image and then go over to the left hand control panel and click this little cloud with an arrow in it. So if you have saved your logo to your computer, you can simply select file right here. I'm going to go to my previous images and I have my logo right here and we'll see it shows up really big. So we want to decrease the size of that by coming over here where it says image size and scrolling down and that allows us to size it really nicely. Then we want to come into the top and just start changing the words. So this looks pretty big. I like to simply just have a very simple email capture right here. So I'm actually going to take all of this stuff out and you delete stuff by just hovering over it and clicking the little trash can in the upper right hand corner. Trash can, trash can, and trash can. Okay. So I also want to delete this trash can, trash can, 
trash can. I want to delete all of this extra stuff. I really like a very simple squeeze page because if you give all your information on the squeeze page, it can just kind of overwhelm your audience right from the start. So I'm going to delete this. And now we have just a very simple squeeze page right here. All right. So I've deleted all the extra. This is all I want my squeeze page to be. Okay. Now we can take out the little last name portion if we want and just do first name and email address. So if we want to change the colors of this big text in the background, make sure you highlight the whole thing and then you can come down here and do your color. If you guys want to pull custom hex codes from that coolers tool I mentioned in the branding training, you can type in the hex code right here, or you can just pick a, a color that has been previously used. If you want to change the color of your text right here, if you guys want to change this color right here, you can do the same thing by highlighting it and just picking colors right here. So let's do black. And then we can change this text by just highlighting it again and deleting and typing over it. So learn more about the roadmap 3.0, whatever you want to put there. And then you guys can delete this part as well. Maybe you want to put your mission statement here. Maybe you want to put kind of like your little simple one liner about what they're about to learn once they put in their name and email. Maybe you have a freebie that you're offering. And once they put their name and email in, they will immediately be emailed the freebie. And again, I will show you guys how to do that in the email marketing portion. So put your text there. You already have your name input. All we want to do is now edit this button. Okay. So the first thing, once the button is highlighted, the first thing we want to do is come over to this left-hand sidebar, action one button clicked, and make sure it says submit form. This allows them to be set on the back end for your email automations. And then the next one, we want to make sure we say to the next step, which means when they press this sign up today button, which we're going to change, but when they click this button, two things are going to happen. They're automatically going to be put into your email campaign on the back end so they can receive the freebie they got from you, the freebie link. Now they can be inside of your email campaigns to receive automated follow-ups if they don't purchase right away. And they will go to the next step in the funnel to learn more about your product or service. So instead of let's saying sign up today, let's say subscribe to your business name. Okay. And then at the bottom, you can either keep it as we respect your privacy. You can unsubscribe at any time, or you could highlight over and say, don't worry. We hate spam. Something very simple, a little one sentence to make them feel a little bit more comfortable saying, Hey, when you put in your email, I'm not going to spam you with a bunch of stuff. So you can feel comfortable putting your email in with us here. Okay. So if we want to change that color of that button, you can come down here again, make sure it's highlighted and then you can change the background color of the button. Okay. Very simple, very easy. If you want to change the text on here, same thing, click this little highlighted square and then you can change the text just like that. Okay. That's all your squeeze page needs to be very, very, very simple. There's a lot of people that think, I don't want to have a squeeze page. People don't want to give me their email. I don't like putting in my email on an email capture page. Please, please, please respect that email marketing is one of the oldest tools when it comes to business and when it comes to selling a product. If you do not choose to have a squeeze page, you are missing out on a massive, massive, massive tool to grow your business. If people are not comfortable putting their name and email on a squeeze page, it's because your content is not good enough. People will happily give you their name and email and subscribe to your email list if they know, like, and trust you. So you will see a lot of people in the market tell you, oh, I don't have a squeeze page. I don't have a squeeze page. I don't want to collect name and emails. You are hurting your business before it even has the chance to grow. So please, please, please understand the power of email marketing. Feel free to go do your research. This page is very, very, very vital to building a funnel. And it's the easiest page to edit. So in the next video, we're going to get into the harder stuff.
but I'll walk you through step by step.